doing those experiments, it really just fueled curiosity in science. Um, now I'm in the, I'm doing the supercomputing team challenge, and I think where that started was probably in first and second grade. In science classrooms across the country, students are given experiments to perform. They are told what to observe and how to collect data. Even though learners may be engaged and say that they are having fun in their science classes, are they truly developing essential scientific thinking skills? Are they actually understanding concepts or just following directions? Are students really inspired to ask questions when told to follow specific procedures? Are they denied opportunities to grapple with real problems and explore the world in which they live? What could learners do if given the opportunity to explore the answers to their own questions? First and second graders at the Santa Fe School of the Arts and Sciences, an expeditionary learning school in New Mexico, were given this opportunity. The students produced a book of their own original physics experiments. When I started teaching first and second grade, I was very committed to making first and second grade be very child-centered and to keep the initiative in their learning. I wanted to share the secrets of scientists with them. The K-12 Next Generation Science Standards encourage students to think and behave as scientists by engaging in authentic science and engineering practices. In other words, the secrets of scientists. These practices include planning and carrying out investigations, analyzing and interpreting data, constructing explanations and designing solutions, and engaging in argument from evidence. Real science doesn't have an answer at the beginning. That's why it's so fascinating. Great scientists are curious about what they investigate. I want my kids to see themselves as scientists. And there's not one child in my class who isn't a grand experimenter. Um, so my name is Kit Willie. I went to Santa Fe School for the Arts and Sciences from preschool through eighth grade. So I am Landon Tafoya, and I came to SFSAS from kindergarten to eighth grade. What I remember about the experience of carrying out my own experiments in the first and second grade is that it really, it allowed you to answer the questions that you found interesting. For me, I wanted to study the frequency of sound in glasses of water. I'm just a little bit surprised that I was thinking about that at this stage. My reaction to what I did for this physics expedition Honestly, I'm impressed with myself because at second grade, usually people aren't writing hypotheses and like conducting experiments. All of it's here, a hypothesis, materials, data, conclusion. We learn by doing. And I think that was really great because then you do that outside of school as well. You think like, oh, what would happen if I did this? and then you do it and you're like, oh, that's how, well, that's how that works. So if you learn general things as a class, you all learn the same stuff. And even though that's good to have a basis and a foundation of knowledge, if you go into your own individual projects, you learn more about what you want to learn about and what you really, like how you need to learn it. Like you conduct your own way that you need to learn it. I joined the supercomputing Team. We're studying the probability of, ha of exoplanets to be habitable based on their ability to retain liquid water. Currently, I've been fascinated in um, black holes, and I'm just, just starting to learn about things like that, but it's really fun. Rather than learning about stuff that just everyone's learning and you're forced, kind of, you get to learn about stuff that's, that really sparks your curiosity.